good then youtube hope we're all doing absolutely fantastic today welcome back to the division 10 to elite division educational series today we are going to be teaching you how to basically play in a way where we're not using player locks so we had a comment on one of our previous episodes about they're learning so much from the series which is great thank you for that um but they're struggling in division five to basically create chances without player locks so that they're looking at what i'm doing and i use player locks so much that we wanted to showcase how you can get more out of your ai without using player locks so we did that in today's episode if you enjoyed the video do me a favor leave a like and subscribe to the channel this is a very chilled series where you can sit back relax and learn a lot about the game that we all love very odd that we love it apparently anyway let's go ahead and jump into it so here we are then to kick things back off we did make it into division seven obviously in the last episode and the team is still looking a little bit bare bones team of the season is literally round the corner so what i'm going to plan to do is for us to play and then have a go in into the team of the season foot champs as well so if you remember a few episodes ago we did play two foot champs games so we do have two wins there so i will kind of get them done i think for now what we'll do is we'll jump into a game obviously teach you everything fc24 but then maybe a little bit of behind the scenes i will try and do some packs uh get the team somewhat ready to an extent now i imagine this is going to get a little bit tougher for us because obviously we are now playing division seven much much tougher teams um but we'll get going and we'll get grooving as we do it i have changed my mic setup i did find that with my uh mic that i was using before the shore ss7b for some other reason when i use the eye tracker it has a little um like buzzing noise to it so i have changed over to a different mic and thankfully we have uh, managed to sort that out. So, right, I didn't take a look at the opponent's team, but I'm already seeing a Harry Kane, uh, a future. So we will be very mindful of what we're doing. Uh, just tap R1 just to bring Balde in a little bit there. Uh, probably ball roll up. I did just tap L1 as well to send the left winger. And then I tapped R1 to bring him forward. I'll drive there. Can we look for that finish? Ah, greened it as well. I'm still there though. Can we play a look? Oh, so actually, one thing that we did say we would try for this episode is to not use player locks. Go on, Lua. Nice. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I rely on player locks, I would say, too much. I use them way more than I actually need to. And they're so good, right? But you can almost get into that kind of catch-22 where it's like, I didn't really need to play a lot there. I could have just played that pass. So one of the viewers left a comment saying how could you try and show us how you would play without player locks because you know they're they're in division five and they're finding that they find it really difficult to just create chances kind of organically without the player lock so i'm just going to try to use a finesse there because he's got finesse shot plus um i'm going to try and play these games here on just l1 to trigger runs lb on xbox r1 rb to bring them short and in that way, that should kind of give you a bit of an idea of what you can do. So I'm going to tap R1 here just to bring that right back a little bit closer. I will switch this over to the left-hand side. Uh, I'll double tap R1 to bring two players short. Then I'll tap L1 on Raspadori because he doesn't track that all the way. We can go into there. I would normally play a lock here um, to get that cut back, but no need. Lewandowski will have that. And that is going to be a, uh, a nice, simple goal and a very, very quick and efficient win as well so what i'm actually going to do is go back and look at that first goal because it kind of happened a little bit quickly we used a fake shot to beat the player so we won the ball on the press here and then we play it down obviously to the bottom side of the screen and i think this is something where you you don't want to hesitate too much right so when we get into this position now we can see lewandowski is in a great position his back is towards the goal yes but he is a very good hold up striker we can play to his strengths right so what I want to do is not take one or two touches here and let like company come over and press me or this this player here to come over and press me like don't dawdle when the lanes are open move the ball with with efficiency and with speed so we play that first time pass I then do the uh, fake shot where I take a touch square and x to just kind of change up that angle now I will say this isn't a very efficient skill move in the sense of this wouldn't work against higher level players to be honest with you um but it is something that for players that maybe have never used skills in their own time it can be something where you can kind of bring into your game as a starting point i would say so we managed to break away here getting on goals stop sprinting now remember the three p's that i always talk about player pace and position 
player means who have we got Lewandowski he's right footed I want to try and get on my strong foot I want to play to his strengths for a finesse shot for example uh, pace means so you know how I sprint here sprint 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 because I've got the room to sprint but now I slow down here because I'm getting ready to take that shot I don't want to keep sprinting and then just get clamped by the goalkeeper and then when we talk about position I'm looking at position of the goalkeeper we always want to take a look is the goalkeeper coming out is the goalkeeper staying on the line are the opponent doing goalkeeper movement you know whatever it is obviously he keeps him central he doesn't move his keeper whatsoever so we can then just play into that finesse shot lovely goal and a lovely win and let's see if we can do the same again in the next one okay here we go we are playing against villa boys i'm an albion fan so we'll have to make sure that we uh we get the win here um interesting team i like it bit unique Got martinez in gold as well let's go let's go in feed he's trying to be fancy with me so again, no player locks, a uh, little ball roll here. We'll go towards that top of the screen. Uh, good clamp from him. Good second man press. You see how I'm using the second man press there and the right six switch in to clamp up on that player to basically cover off the two angles where we can. Uh, just going to switch here to the right back and then switch into the middle. He tries to go to Osman. I don't know if he meant to. I tapped R1 here just to try and bring Griezmann in. Ah, tried to get through the gap. All right, we'll chill here. Second man press, Bernardo Silva. We'll then switch back to him with L1. Keep running. I uh, want to watch that ball into the middle. Uh, switch back. Can offside trap on that because he's played the ball there and he's not really got the options. Uh, L1 player switch. Right stick player switch. Just stand up. Second man press as well. Good tackle. I didn't actually press tackle there. I just jockeyed into him. I'll send Balde on a run here. And then L1 double tap triangle. Tapping L1 here to send Lewandowski. I'm actually going to uh, creative run it to send him towards the back post. I put too much power on it. And I end up getting into Griezmann. Unfortunate, but a really, really good kind of attack. Nonetheless, uh, second one press there. This opponent really clearly likes the trickster. Sorry, I play a lot. I need to not do that. Uh, Lewandowski can play in the middle to Bernardo Silva. Look to attack the 18-yard box. I've got my skill move wrong. I meant to do a side hill to hill there. Why, the reason why that didn't happen is because I let go of L2 too early. Can lay that back. I've got the ball at the bottom of the screen because I tapped L1 to send him. Again, here, I'd normally play a lock and move uh, Lewandowski to the back post to then look for that header. But obviously, I'm trying to not play a lock, so I'm not going to allow ourselves to do that. Uh, on the edge here, we've got Bernardo Silva. Can look for the finesse. Green time. Ooh, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. I'll probably whip this one in. Again, I would normally play a lock here, but I'll tell you what. I'm going to hold X and just go far left here. Lay that ball back. Uh, I'll probably control sprint here with Bernardo Silva. Hmm to attack that gap r1 circle challenge that's a strong power tackle you can also do it with a slide tackle by doing r1 square Griezmann on the finesse ah, i didn't green it too much power as well unlucky yes yeah, so r1 circle r1 square is really good uh strong power tackles they do actually commit to a heavier animation um so it means if you get the tackle wrong you're in bigger trouble but you have more chance of i would say off balance in the opponent and so on Remember as well, if you do slide tackle, you can actually double tap square when you miss the ball to get back up quicker. Tap tail one there, sending Griezmann. Going to be quick, going to be efficient. Going to look for the finesse. He has it on his right foot. That's a little bit sad. Unlucky. I wanted it on the left to obviously finesse it. I could have probably maybe gone for a low driven as well, but that'd be a good one where you could look back on that, actually. I'll tell you what, I'll try and see if I can clip that. And uh, we'll take a look back at the end of this game. I'll double tap and hold R1 here just to go for that partial team press. A really good ball and Osman just manages to get there as well. Take a look at the mini map here, just seeing how his team's lining up, seeing where we've got the space. We'll go out to that left hand side to Balde. I'll double, I'll, set, I'll, I'll go R1 and then I go L1 to send Raspadori. Again, here's maybe where I'd play a lock. I'll go in the middle, then into the 18 yard box. Uh, then we just control sprint and finish. Boom, lovely. So just going like back one and then penetrating the midfield getting straight up against that defense into raspadori and saying i want to go i don't want to hesitate being quick being efficient too many times i do coaching sessions with students where it's like they just don't look forward enough when they're playing to then look to go straight into that 18 yard box at the end of the day the, the time where the opponent is going to be a little bit nervy is the 18 yard box right they have it on the edge they're not going to be as, as worried so if we see that little window, like here, I can go straight into that. Take out the midfield. I want to get past the midfield. I want to get up against the defense. Like this. I'm up against the defense now. Now I've got all the time in the world to just do what I want to do. Just trying to come back. Again, one more. 
little feet. Too predictable, maybe, to go back onto the left foot there with Bernardo Silva. I just uh, hold R1 here to get that second one press. Keep tracking those runs. Now I can put manual pressure on. He's gone offside anyway. And I'll give and go here. So Griezmann goes. Uh, I will recycle this. I don't like the look of what I just had there. Valde's got loads of room out on that left-hand side. I'll tap R1 to bring Raspadori short. He just lose out on that header. Osman's running, so I'll second one press. Keep right stick switching. Covering that, he's gone offside. I'm going to put some pressure on. Uh, Osman, Nunes is offside as well. And that is a crazy, crazy step from uh, Van Dijk. And play that over the top. L1 double tap triangle. Keeper stays, keeper stays, keeper stays. Van Dijk recovers. Wow. Van Dyke is just so good, isn't he? I'll track that back, though. That's fine. Uh, he goes offside, so I can be aggressive there. Bang. R1 circle. Yes, I don't win the ball. Yes, I give away the foul, but the ball was there to be won, you know? Just got it slightly wrong, but it's fine. Again, trying to cover the middle. He likes his skill moves as player. Go into there. Griezmann sending him on a run. I can play that round the outside, I think. I can. Double tap in L1 as much as I can. I'm tapping it. I'm tapping it. I'm tapping it. Little dink. Uh, we've got a run in the box as well. Oh, I could save. So I tapped L1 to send uh, Raspadori into that position to give me that option. And just unfortunate that Keeper managed to get something on it. Griezmann can have this and maybe look for the finesse. Ferdinand stands up really, really well. Uh, watch the Osman run. That's fine. I gave Van Dijk the head start, so I'm behind him. I don't need to worry too much. Now I can put some pressure on the Nunes. I'm actually fine with Nunes shooting from there. Uh, I don't know which Nunes he's got, but it's Nunes at the end of the day. Um, he's actually having a good season, IRL. He's got a lot of goals, a lot of assists, but I think I saw a stat as well where it says, like, he, although he's having a good season in that front, he actually also he has some of the most chances in the top five leagues, and he's missed, like, the most as well. So, <laughs> however you want to look at it, right? But he's doing the right thing. Anyway, back to the game. Um, box again. There's just so many numbers in the way. I'm not trying to win the ball every. Like I'm not. I'm not going. I must win the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. What I'm doing is saying, hey, look, I've got three or four players stood in the way. If you take a shot here, there's a good chance of a block. Not really having to do anything. Uh, I can play that in. Take the touch with sprint. Ball roll. Lovely. Yeah, just kind of knowing that I could take the touch with sprint into that little gap that we saw there. And then also the goalkeeper coming out, kind of inputting, like saying to myself, I'm going to go for a ball roll as soon as this keeper commits. Um, yeah, he's going to look for some skills because he likes them. Uh, I had that second man press there on Van Dijk, which I definitely didn't want. And that is going to be half time. A good, good first half. Nice and composed. Yeah, it's very different playing without the, the player locks, I must say. As I said, though, there are, there are times where me using player locks, obviously, he's so good. And, you know, it's like I wouldn't have made that chance if I didn't play a lot. But then there are also other times where it's like, oh, I did that player lock there and I messed it up. Especially as well, I play a lock at times where I'm trying to, like, you know, switch to the other player. And then the game ends up taking a big touch with the person that's on the ball that I'm no longer controlling. And then I end up losing it from that, so... Yeah, it is something I am trying to trying to work on in my game for sure. You know, finding the, the fine balance, I would argue. Another thing that I've been doing, actually, which I think has been helping me recently, is not, like, I always say this, right? I can probably look for a finesse here. Yeah, he covers on that inside, so I can't come back. I sprint so much when I get the ball. Like, I think higher level players can be guilty at times. Uh, he's offside. Can I get there to defend? I can. Double tap R1, just that partial team press. See that little blue line, cover that ball in the middle. Got some pressure on, tried a little tackle there. Thought I might be able to. That's good feet from him. That's really good composure. Well done. I got my player switch wrong there as well. Going back to it. So there's times where you think, okay, like here, I can take a touch for sprint. But then sometimes I'd carry on sprinting. And it's like, okay, what can I do? Because I, okay, brilliant touch. I like lose the ball from that. So I said to myself, okay. I am only allowed to sprint when, like, there is just so much green grass in front of me. Like, here, I can take probably two touches of sprint. One, two. Now slow it down and just controlled sprint. Maybe look back. Can I find Griezmann? No, I'll recycle. And that there alone has helped me so much recently at just keeping the ball, having a bit, bit, bit better ball retention, making it really difficult for the opponent to uh, I've play a lot. I'm sorry. And see, that right there is a perfect example. Now, did I need to go for the player luck? I would argue, it, yeah, I think I did. Because Griezmann's movement wasn't kind of what I wanted. I'll tell you what, he, he scores here. I can do the move the goalkeeper. Wow, he should have gone on the right foot. Um, but 
I end up losing the ball completely. So, yeah, it's kind of a catch-22 there. I'll go for that big switch. Uh, I'm actually going to do a creative run here. So, here, Raspadori runs down into that gap. I'm going to tap L1, get my runners in the box. I've got one there. Ooh, unlucky. It's like a reverse sort of German cross there. Can I? See what he's gone for over the top. I think he actually gets to that. No, he doesn't. Close, though. An interesting approach. So here, what I always find from throw-ins, what you can do, square an X like that. You've right stick to come over here. Square an X. Take the player in. So then they go, oh, the ball. Yeah, and they, they run towards that. And it normally tends to give you um a lot of time. I've actually got Adley out of position here, my centre mid. So this could be dangerous. Depends on what he does. I need to come with my centre back. It's a great... Sorry? Was that not a great challenge? I thought that was a great, great challenge. How wrong was I, I suppose? Um, yeah, so what I massively made a mistake in there is I sent Adley on a run, and that, that's fine. That wasn't a problem. But the problem was is I tried to play a crazy through ball with Balde. You have to play to your player's strengths, and gold Balde doesn't have good passing at all. His passing is not great. So, hold on a sprint. I'm going to take one touch with it and then go. Uh, I'm going to get this out to the other side. It's a bit ropey there. Tap L1, send that. Okay. So you have to place your player's strengths. And me trying to play that ball with Balde is just crazy. That's a really good knockback. Good safekeeper. He has some good options there. So who knows his offside? What's new? Yeah, place your player's strengths. Understand what each of your card <coughs> cards in your team does and what do they do well, what do they do bad. You know, like Balde playing this switch is like, look at that, even that, like that's, you know, full square trying to get over. And he can't play that. Don't get me wrong, at this stage of the game, you know, most people aren't using gold Balde, Balde, so you probably can go for that switch. But I shouldn't go for it when I know I've got him. Use the fullback here. Um, probably look for a ball roll and then find that man in the middle. I'm going to tap L1 to send Adley. A uh, little dink here to Griezmann. Bad pass. Maybe I can look for a finesse shot soon with Lewandowski on the edge. I want to have that room. Great challenge with circle. Uh, I am going to switch this here. I'm going to double tap R1, then tap L1 on Griezmann. Gives me a lot of room here in the middle. Can I go outside? I'm going to drive the byline here. Again, here's where I'd normally look for a eye lock. I'm going to go edge. One more, and then I'm going to hit it. Oos! Block. Okay, midfield's out of position. Uh, it's Osman and Nunes. So I'm just going to run back here. I'm not going to go to him there. I'm not bothered about where he is right now. What I'm bothered about is the numbers. Bang, beautiful. Very much just patient defending there. This is one thing I can do with Balde. He has the strength to run. You know, his pace is good. He has gone out of stamina now, though, so just looking to release that ball. I need to be careful if he goes on this right-hand side because Balde doesn't have the, the pace to go for that. I'll go bottom of the screen. Uh, just going to control sprint. Look for a little step over. Lewandowski. Ooh. It, yeah, I was going to say, I, I tried to get the shot off there, but he just he just got something. I'm going to tap R1, bring Griezmann short. Um... I'm going to try and see what I can work here. Bernardo Silva. Can I find a pass into the 18-yard box? I can. Lewandowski. Little skill move. Boom. Lovely. And a low-driven finish. So we're just tapping the shoot button there across goal. So that skill move, it's one of my favourite skill moves for people to bring into their game. It's where you hold L2, LT. You do square and X, X and A on Xbox. And you just point your left stick the way that you're running. So it's a straight. It's like a better heel to heel because the heel to heel is not as good as it used to be. If I just show you it here, if you watch the input, L2, square and X, like that. You know when I said that that's the one I wanted earlier on and I just got like a normal fake shot like that? Yeah, that's the one I wanted. But you have to hold L2 all the way down. Sometimes I let go of it too early. That puts me in a bit of trouble. I'm just going to hit this. I think he's off. Yeah. So that there is like where the play lot comes in, right? Lewandowski made the run into the box because I tapped L1 to send him on that run. And it's good, but then he just runs in a straight line. And then they end up just running into the goal. So that's where I think the play lock really comes in. Just tap tar one to bring Balde in here just to make that a little bit closer. Can go middle, then the through ball. Oh, should have maybe gone over the top of that. I'm just gonna chill here. I'm not too fussed about pressing it. I'm just worried about the runners. Thinking about where's his immediate threat, the danger, what do I need to cover? How do I want to make this game easy for me to you know, essentially win? We're at that point now where we're on the drive, the driver's seat. We're on the driver's seat. We're in the driving seat. Got there. Oh, we have got Lewandowski at that back post. I can knock that down. Oh, he just got nudged ever so slightly. Again, just chilling. 
happy to play the numbers game. Taking the ball there when it is there to be won. Uh, we'll tap Bernardo Silver on a run here. Try and see if we can find him. Little low driven. Ah, oh, straight at him. I hit it straight at him. Really good use of the, the run though. I go forward. I can. A little R1X there. Griezmann on the finesse. Nice. All right, that is going to be game, set, match, one. So I hope you've uh, learned something from those couple of games that we have played. Back-to-back -back wins as well, which is huge. Always very nice indeed. And GG's to the opponent. And that puts us now uh, just coming up to the halfway mark in Division 7. Beautiful. So thank you all very much for watching this episode. If you have missed any others, you can click on this little playlist right here and it will take you up to date with everything so far in this series. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.